And happy Saturday to everyone and welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, welcome. If you're old, welcome back. On today's vi video, we are going to be talking about what does it take to become a scuba diver. Um, and, the thing, and the first thing is though, you need to be a very and a strong swimmer. Um, but basically, you need to have sw sw swimming lessons, a very strong swimmer. You, you, you must be in, in good health um, because being a scuba diver, you need to be in, in good health. Um, you need to be very, well, I mean, not really you know, strong, strong, but you need to be able to lift the tank. You need to be able to hold the, um, because we wear the weights. I'm in the, I'm in the BCD, so you're going to be a, you're a good swimmer there. Um, thing is, it's something to make, but, but make sure it's something that you want to do. To become, to, to become a scuba diver, make sure it's something you want to do. And you're not just going into it because somebody tells you, you know, that you have to do it. Make sure it's something that you want to do. Because I know a lot of times they... You know, you, 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 you know, do it and then decide, well, I don't want to do this. Then that's because they got, you know, either pushed into it by a family member or by a significant other, you know. So make sure that's something that you want to do. And you get, because you have, because being a scuba diver is hard. Because you got to be able to. Of course, you gotta make sure you can breathe underwater. You, 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 you have to make sure you can even do it because you have to put the regulator in your mouth, and you got you, and you have to make sure that you can do that. Number one, and number two, you gotta make sure you have no health issues because I mean that's why it's very important. That you, if you do have a condition, make sure you talk to your doc doctor first because you don't want to, you know, you don't want to do, you know, you don't want to do it and then find out that you can't even do it because the swim test alone is hard. Because we gotta be able to swim two to three hundred yards with just the fins, the mask, and the snorkel, and we have to go from one end up of the pool to the other end, and then back. You know, we have to do two or three hundred yards. That's one of the requirements in doing it. If you can master that, if you can master that, like I, I mean, I mean, I had to personally go through that on on a swim test. Well, the um, swim test alone would, would do it. Um, so I mean, I practice week in, week out, months. I mean, I practice back in twenty seventeen. I practiced from January, February, March, and part of April before I started the, to do it. it um, before I went for the you know, um, course. And I and I was packed, I mean I was in the pool in the lap lane, practicing going down, coming back up, going down, coming back up. So that's one of the requirements that you have to be able to do. And because that is one of the requirements that you need to do when you do it, that's one of the requirements that Comes, I mean, we do. I mean, we do. Um, I mean, we do the same thing, like the coast. I mean, the, uh, similar to what the coast guard goes through, as well. Um, as well, we do. Um, um, on the swim test. Um, and then there's other. I mean, and and basically, we're in like three, well, three feet of water to start. And then we're in three feet of water to start, and then we go to six foot, 
and then sometimes we go depending on the pool that we're using it could be up to 14 feet and that's just the pool the pool portion but then when we get to the quarry or whatever or whatever it depends on what the way you go it depends on what dive shop you use and what they use to train their you know their divers I mean, I know we use White Star Koi. Um, I'm up in Gibsonburg, but it but it depends on where you go. But it just depends on what dive shop you use and what what methods they use on training. Um, it just I mean I mean I mean it just depends. I mean, but to become a, but to become a, become a scuba diver though, you know, like it. Um, you gotta, and, and plus you gotta want it. And plus it's something that you want, you know, want to do. So I mean, it all depends. I mean, they, I mean, some of them use. I mean, some of them depends on what country or what, you know, country you're in. That they may, I, I, I may, may, I mean, they may use like the ocean. They may go to the ocean on a dive boat and, and do their, you know, arm training. It just all depends. I mean, every dive shop, every country, every that, every that that dive shop is d d different. And I know for us, I mean, I, I'm gonna know the one I use is PDR. But I mean, I know that for uh, for their training, they use White Star Koi, and they use any of the high, well, any of the pools that's available, like at the high schools. I mean, I know we got. Um, but I, I may use like Lake, I mean Lakewood, Orange. You know they use, I mean they use on um, whatever's available, like Independence. I mean they use what's ever available. I mean, but it but it just varies on the the, the dive shop. So check with your dive shop and you know see what you know what you know what they do like for training and. Yeah, I know it's the, you know, pool sessions, but for some of them, it may be that they use like open water for the, you know, for the portion, or they may have their own you know, dive tank in their shop. It just all depends on, you know, it, it, you know, it depends on what dive shop you use. I mean, some of them may have like a paddy, you know, pool, you know, already, um, um dive tank already set up. So it might all depend on that. It might all depend on. See, we don't know. I mean, each dive shop is d different. I mean, some of them have. I mean, some of them have the you know, capabilities of having their own, you know, pool. You know, in their shop, some don't. Some have to, you know, borrow like you know, like I know. Oh, oh it's Steve at PDR. I mean, we had to use. You know the pool, like an orange, Mayfield, and um, now we're you you know like Trendsburg. Now we're using and now we're using the, the, the pool at, at, at um Lakewood. And um, I I I, I hopefully I can be, be I'm gonna be a, a vlog in that. So hopefully um when we do the pool party. Um, I can bring you guys along too and show you what we do, you know, show you, you know, uh, what we do and um, basically like that because we got the pool party coming up, we got that coming soon, so stay tuned for that, stay tuned for details on that. But basically, I mean, to become a scuba diver, you got to be in, you know, a lot, a lot, like I said before, you got to be in good health. And a very strong athleticism because you gotta be able to hold the weight on you. You're gonna be able to hold the weight on that on your BCD on your, because those weights are I mean heavy and plus you gotta be able to have the tank on your back. So you got you I gotta make sure first check with the doctor first before you do that. So that way, if you're medically cleared. Because you don't want to dive with, I mean, you don't want to go, you know, diving 
if you have like a bad heart and you definitely don't want to dive if you're prone to seizures. So make sure you don't and please don't lie on you know on you know when you fill out you know, when, or when you fill out the form you know form for class or whatever. Make sure you tell them the truth if they actually if you have any health issues because diving will and can if you don't use any common sense. The, 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 I mean, it can kill you if you, I mean, if you don't tell them that if you have any medical issues like seizures, heart problems, because they, cause we dive down to, to many, many deaths. And if, I mean, don't, don't, I mean, it's, no, don't, don't lie on that. Just say, hey, look, you know, make sure you get medically cleared, you know, know, you know, know that if you can do it or not, just don't, you know, just don't up and do it because you see somebody else doing it and the audience say, well, I can do it, you know, I, I, I want to do that too, but make sure that you are physically in good health for it, so then that way you don't end up, because, I mean, diving is, is fun, and we want you to enjoy it. I mean, I mean, we don't want you to go out there and during class um, and um, end your life. No, that's not what we want. We, I mean, we don't want you going out and doing that. We don't want you going out and then end up being in the body bag because you went down and you had a, you know, like a heart attack or a seizure and then you end up dead. That's not what we want. We, we, we want you to be able to go out there have fun, get certified as you know, as a scuba diver, and, and have fun. I I'm having so I mean certified now for going on. Uh, I'm in my fifth year now. I, I mean my fifth year of diving. And I mean I've seen stories. I've seen you know I've seen story. I mean I I've read stories. I watched videos on them like that. And it's like, no, that's why we urge you to make sure you get, you know, medically cleared. And if for some reason you do, like if you're prone to seizures, before you even think about doing, you know, you know doing diving, make sure you talk to your doctor first to get approval. So then well, you'll see if you're, you know, if you can even do it. Because, see, because like I said, you don't want to, you know, it's, I mean, diving can and will kill you if you don't use any common sense. If you don't use any common sense on it, I mean, that's why you have, it, it, it can and, and will kill you if you don't use any common sense. And if you lie, if you lie on your, your paperwork, if you say, well, oh, I'm fine, I, I, I have no issues, I'm fine. And then when you go down there, then you could run in, um, then you run into some serious problems. And then, and then guess who gets held accountable at the dive shop would be held accountable. Uh, um, but, but, but you didn't know about it. But you didn't know anything about it. Because why? Because you decided to lie on the paperwork and say, oh, I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm this and that, I, I'm good, I have no health issues, blah, blah, blah. And yet, and then you find out you do. So no, again, please, it's very important not to lie. You know, just tell them if you're prone to seizures or if you're prone to, you know, a um, heart attack or whatever, or heart problems, let them know. I mean, it's not worth, I mean, it's not worth, I mean, it ain't worth, you know, I mean, losing your life over. It's not worth, because I'm mean, diving is supposed to be fun. So, um, yeah, you need to be in good health. You need to be, uh, uh, I mean, and, and the number one thing is swimming lessons is a priority. 
you, you must take you, you, you must be able to swim because we and you must be um I mean I know they do work with I um, they do work with some you know some people on that they do I mean I mean they I mean uh, 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 other than that, you must be able to be, be, be because the um, swim test alone, we have to use our only our feet, not and our hands. But but for the um, swim test, we have our head in the water, we we, we have a mask, you know, on, and, and our snorkel in, and we have to breathe underwater through the snorkel. Go down, so yeah, it's not as I mean, we have to be able to use our feet only. We can't go like this to you know to, to, to do the laps. Mm. We can't do that to do the laps. We can only use our feet to do the laps to you know go down and back. And um, so yeah, I mean, I mean, that's I mean, that's what I had to do. But then again, check check with the dive shop, see how they you know see how they do their test, and, and they may not even do that. I mean, they might even do the um two three hundred yards. It just depends on the um on, on dive shop you use. It depends on that. So 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 again, I mean, it may not be. You may not even have to do that. But yeah, but just make sure that. To be on the safe side, make sure you, you, you check with your doctor first to get a, to you know get cleared. Because we don't want to see anything happening. We don't want to see you going out like I mean in previous cases where that one not like that one did. I mean, and they went out and and couldn't do and, and you know had something happen. And then that one that was at White Star Koi, she did that. I mean, she went down 75 feet and then had a heart attack at 75 feet and then passed away. Because, I mean, and, all, and because she was by herself diving, which is, which is against the regular, I mean, you know, I mean, we don't, I mean, we don't, I mean, we don't recommend diving by yourself, but you can if you're o o open water. If you're a recreation diver like me, I have to have like a dive buddy or, or an instructor. So yeah. So if you have any questions or comments, feel free to put them down in the comment section down below. Um, and I hope everybody's having a wonderful Saturday night um make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on those post notifications and smash that like button and um and i have a you know and, and let me know in the comment section down below what, what what you know what you want to see you know what you're you know what you want to, you know what you want to see you know what, 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 what you want to see more of and, and I'd like to say thanks to my, uh, no, um, I'm going to vote it on my poll. So, so far, the one, uh, on, on my three voters who voted so far, I'd like to thank you guys for that v very much. And I, I hope we get you know, more votes on that. And um, I, 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 I really appreciate you guys. And, um, uh, 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 let's try to get the subscribe count up to a thousand. Let's try to see if we can get this uh, um, channel up to a uh, uh, um, uh, to a thousand subscribers by the end of the year. Let's see if we can do that. So make sure you hit the subscribe button, turn on those post notifications, that we you know, don't you know, that we don't miss a single upload, and make sure you hit that you know, smash that like button. And, and happy Saturday, everybody. Hope everybody's Saturday is going good. And I'll catch you in the next one.